with our truce with the Ottoman Sultanate up in December of 1666, it is time to begin preparing for the next assault, the next reconquest for the Anglican Mamluks in the south, and the next smashing blow to the Ottoman Empire. As you can see here, uh, we are number one, Ottomans number two, a little less than half of what we have, but they are still quite the powerhouse in the rest of the world, and uh, our allies are Russia in the third slot. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, and welcome back to some EU4. We're looking good. Anglophile 2.0 coming along swimmingly. Admittedly, I need to be putting a lot more effort into uh, India. That's where we'll make a lot more of our trade, but uh, leave a comment down below. Would you rather see us beat up on Ottomans and reconquest from Rams, or would you rather see us do India? To be honest with you, we can probably do both, but uh, for now, I'm going to focus on this war with the Ottomans. And then I think I'm going to ferry some in around and we are going to start beating up on um, the natives over here in India. And uh, so if you guys are excited for that, please do make sure you show your support. Leave a like on the video. It really does help me out more than you know. Let's uh, let's take a look here at our manpower pools and our vassals. I've been considering actually marching these guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I need to subsidize them a little bit more as well. I'm going to march these guys because they are going to be... The issue is... is so what is their dev? So what is our dev? First off, our dev is almost 3000. Really? Okay. So almost 3000. That's doable. And they need to have less than a quarter of what we have. You know what? That means as long as they have less than, do they say we have 3000 dev? So as long as they have less than three. Yeah, I don't know. It probably wouldn't be smart to march them unless I was also still growing quite a bit. Actually, we're going to be integrating these guys before too long. You know what? Screw it. Let's march them. The reason why we march them is because they get some solid uh, modifiers, but they also get fort defense. And uh, we can come over here and click this button here, which is going to give them extra five discipline and 20% morale of armies. And you can see here, they actually have uh, discipline in their national ideas. So the cap combat ability is all that. All that is really good. So I think what we're going to do is uh, get prepared for that war with the Ottomans here. So uh, I'm also going to cut my subsidies and I'm going to subsidize them a bit more. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. I will take your money. And uh, we are way ahead on admin. So boost our stab up yet again. After pushing through the um, getting rid of the English monarchy, I'm I'm OK with it. Honestly, I didn't want to, but um, oh, I can just switch to it again. What? That's crazy. I mean, I don't want to, because I, I want the absolutism. Yeah, ideally, we can take this one away. Um, Let's see here. Let's go with burgers. Trade company, at least five in Tunis. Once we integrate, those guys will get that. Ah, we'll see, man. It's going to be tough, but we really do need to make sure that we are um, making uh, making changes over here. So... Austria picking up that PU on Austria was so clutch um, Now my goal would be Using their mission tree and I had mentioned this in the last episode. We want to use their mission tree to uh, start Yeah, you're never gonna get that <laughs> so control Bohemia Permanent claim on the Bohemia region well, you don't seem to have a permanent claim on Bohemia, my friend. Okay. That's really weird. Well, once imperialism comes around, we'll probably conquest it for him. And uh, once we have eight provinces in that area, which is basically all of them, right? Essentially, yeah. It's all of the Bohemia and all of the, uh, whatever, the Sudetenland, this, uh, this, this area here. The, whatever that state's called. Um... So we can do that, and uh, that will give him permanent claim on Silesia. Yeah, okay. And then once we recover Silesia, get permanent claims on Slovakia. So a lot of this is Hungarian clay. We're obviously going to make the best of it, though. So we've canceled their subsidies, which uh, means they're going to start deleting their armies because uh, they can't afford them. Yep. They also turned all their forts off. But uh, we will give them subsidies, and these guys are going to be kind of on the fighting front here. I'm going to boost their subsidies up quite a bit. So they uh, can build up to their force limit here. 
Let's take a look. What is their force? Is there an easy way to see it without going into the ledger? Oh, you can actually see their dev right here. Oopsies. I actually don't know if that was a thing before. Did Artemis add this or is this in there already? Hmm. I've always looked at it by hovering over their uh, Liberty Desire. Um... So this is just their manpower, but you can see their maximum manpower is 32,000. Hungary's got very low manpower. Castile has very low manpower as well. So let's build some training fields in their lands. Right? Yeah, we need to make sure that these guys have lots of manpower and building these allows their manpower to go up quickly. Uh-huh. And so we're just trying to build it in provinces that are going to be most influential here. Preferably a thousand or more manpower. All right. Those are good. And now let's head over to Castile. And you all obviously want to upgrade the ones that need upgraded. Oh, yeah. Castile's got lots of manpower coming in. We need to make sure they have many, many, many more manpower. Ooh, very good. Piece of candy. All right, um, I guess 750 is the next one. So we'll just upgrade all the 750 ones. A lot of 500 ones. Very good. All right, and uh, a few more in Hungary. Since Hungary is kind of on the, the front, the fighting front, keep up the uh, the thousands here. See, same as Arabia and Moldavia are not necessarily the best for this because they're going to get sieged down quite often. These ones up here are safe, though. So let's go with those. That's fine. Cool. Algeria wants a royal marriage. I don't need it. I don't want to lose the legitimacy. These guys, guys, I will royal marry, though. And now you can take a look since we're subsidizing them again. They're making a lot of money, which means they will build up to their force limit. So if you want to take a look at their force limit, you go to their armies, I think. And uh, force limit... And um, there's not really an easy... I really wish you could go with your subjects over here. But uh, if we look up the Mamluks, you can see their force limit is 26. They get minus 3 because they're a subject nation. That's okay. Eventually, what we'll do is we'll build some regimental camps over here in their low uh, autonomy area. And that will allow them... Each of them will allow them to build another troop. So quite useful stuff. So right now, we're just getting our armies in position. We are going to siege down the Ottomans again very soon. Did the Mamluks just go bankrupt? Is that what I just saw? Or did they just go bankrupt and I... Did I force them to go bankrupt? No. Huh. I don't... Wait, what was that? War exhaustion. Port maintenance. Oh, you can check war exhaustion with the mill rating? Who knew? Not me. Is that their exact war exhaustion? No. Okay, you have to. You can actually see it from looking at the, the province. So we're maxed out on mill mana. I don't want to dev up my vassals because my vassals will end up um, just being harder to integrate. So it's much easier to dev it ourselves. Plus, you also have to consider whenever you dev it yourself. Take a look at that. All that manpower we're getting. Max manpower over five five hundred and sixty four thousand. So let's take a look at the Ottomans now. If you remember, uh, the Ottomans were uh, gaining about five. Oh, yeah. We're gaining a lot more manpower than the Ottomans now. We've uh, certainly surpassed them. I think it would be best for me to also get another fighting stack down here. So let's do that. It's going to take a bit of time, but uh, having a big juicy stack down here is going to be really good. Mercantilism or not. Yeah, obviously I'll take mercantilism. Yes, please. And we're continuing to convert everything. Anglican is looking very, very good here in Europe. And uh, we're just going to continue. So, MAMs are going to beat up on farce for me. Hopefully this war is over within the next few years. Persia is, in our, is our ally in this war as well. And I'm maxed out on Diplo as well, man. This is why Innovative is so good. People are like, why don't you ditch Innovative ideas? Because... Having all this extra mana means we have a lot more mana to uh, be spending on production and stuff like that. And look at this, 190 to, 193, 196 for free. Like right now I made up the losses of the money that I ended up sending over to them. 
And as we continue to stack up our Diplo mana, which I'm going to start saving now, because I'm going to take admin way ahead of time. And uh, that's going to allow us to start really crushing out trade ideas and make a lot of money. The Ottoman Empire uh, certainly is uh, reeling after all this. Um... Oh, yeah, they're still a five loan, so. Yeah, I don't care about the church power. That means nothing to me. That's literally just money, basically. Uh, so this guy is not half off, so. I will upgrade him, though. It's fine. I'll actually upgrade this guy to level five as well. We certainly have extra income, so. There's no reason not to. You're essentially trading money for mana, which is uh, a solid trade in my book. The state is triumphant, huh? So Ottomans just gained a bunch of absolutism. Well, I believe they actually gain absolutism on that decision here. Absolutism is under the, where is it at here? Governments tab. So we have 94 most in the world. Russia's got 88 and Ottomans have 65. Max absolutism of 105. So they're going to keep going up. So we also need to make sure we are hurting their economy here. So let's slander their merchants. I want to at least have some spy network. But um, the fact that we don't have any merchants in the area is, is not helpful. Take a little bit more money. And you can see now, uh, since these buildings over here are going to be done by now, you see their monthly manpower. They're gaining 1,000 manpower a month. And then Castile is gaining 1,200 manpower a month. Very good. Um, so... 114,000 men and 55,000 men. Yeah, they really need more men. But at least they're going to be gaining more manpower now. So let's get over here. We've already built a ton of regimental camps over here. Let's build some over here for these guys. Since we're subsidizing them, uh, if you don't know, as long as they have the force limit, they will build up to it if their economy allows. So um, it's definitely in our best interest to continue pumping them up with uh, buildings. None of these are important anymore. We are done coring up this land over here. Going to have a little bit of unrest. So it's, it's fine. We have those guys over here to suppress. And uh, these guys over here, I don't think we need them there. So let's see here. We got 16 cannons. That's a lot of cannons. We don't really need that many cannons. I think... You know, you can never have too many men in the field. Okay, I meant to sh write, yeah, control click there. Um, I think we're gonna conform this these guys over here to the template and get a little bit more men in the field. The swift and decisive victory over the Ottomans is uh, certainly preferred to a slog like what we had before. So the Ottomans are at war with uh, Ethiopia down here, which means that they're down there just sapping their manpower reserves, which is really good for us. The weaker they are when we decide to go to war, the better. We're all married. Those guys make sure that they are nice and happy with us. We still have no heir for Alfred, but Alfred is young. He's only 38. And uh, we're going to continue converting. So none of my vassals are converting. Everybody's already the correct religions then, except over here, which... Hmm. Oh, it's just a lot of dev. Yeah, no, that's understandable. I can convert that later then. Utrecht. You sons of guns. They told me that we suck and that they hate us. We'll make them pay. So an easy, another easier way to do this is to just, you know, sort by your vassals. And then you just click it in the higher dev provinces for them. Macro builder is, is noise. I like it. So I also need a little bit of a war chest here because obviously we're going to be building up to uh, this guy here. So one more month. There we go. And since this is a half stack here, whoa. Uh-huh. What? I don't actually know. Hmm. I might have misclicked there. I think that I had them build up to the uh, infantry template as well as the artillery. We'll see how it goes. This is fine. Continue converting everything. 
Bulgaria and uh, Greece is really, really quickly conforming to the faith. Truce to these guys will be up in December of next year. So one year from today. All right. So let's come over here. Yeah, I don't see these guys conforming. So I think I clicked the wrong button there. Yes, that's what we wanted. All right. Let's uh, have those guys split. Let's actually have those guys split as well. Keep our 30 some stacks. Provincial separatists are handled. They're on a fort as well. Let's get a general on you. Horatio Fairfax. Literally, how old are you, bro? 64. Horatio Fairfax has absolutely been a legend. Holy crap. That is crazy. Uh, yeah, let's take it. I don't care about being ahead. Uh, we're going to take trade. Global trade power 20%. Look at that. 213, one idea. Instantly gained us 11 ducats a month. And uh, that's a theme. It's going to keep getting better. Fars uh, decided to give some land to Persia. And I get 30 ducats. Very good. And that's nice because Fars is out of the war. So I don't have to worry about uh, my vassal down there focusing on them anymore. Now, I really would hope that this war would be over before... I'm going to give all this land to Russia so he um, has as much uh, war score as possible that he needs. He's at 48. So this is good. What is the show superiority? Wow. Well, sad to say, but uh, they're, bo they're both on really low enthusiasm. So hopefully they win these sieges and they're able to get out of the war because I would really like to call Russia in on a war against uh, the auto turks uh yeah i'll convert it myself man sus is they were beefy too very funny how beefy they were we will annex them while okay let's scootage no i want to keep them in at least for this war and then we'll integrate them well hmm see what's our trust with you yeah, yeah yeah i think we're going to just peace out of this war since i transferred all my occupations over to them I will begin the annexation process of them. That way uh, it'll start going immediately and um, let's upgrade you as well. And uh, in a couple of years here, so shift can, or shuffle split these guys. So we have equal 35 stacks, equal 35 stacks, equal 35 stacks. Let's have you guys head up here. This is maintained. So we're gonna get Constantinople. These guys will handle the Crimean front, the Ponic Steps, and uh, Hungary should handle all this themselves. Downside is, is most of my vassals are going to be like over here in India, but uh, that's okay. One more month and we will be able to begin the war here. So this 34 stack is just infantry. They're just there for reinforcement purposes. In case the Ottomans were to decide that they wanted to get a little frisky. So... It is time for war. Off to war we go. Morocco is literally a non-combatant for the most part. Russia will join. Very good. Uh, we're going to go for reconquest of Akaba. Oh, whatever. And uh, there we go. So you can actually see the auto over here with a big old stack. So can we? Yes, we can get two more generals since we're ahead on mill. We'll do it. And uh, wow. Wow. Not bad at all. The extra fire damage is going to be juicy. Uh, let's get Horatio Fairfax over here. And uh, these guys are just going to get him over there to make sure that they are keeping everybody in line there. Let's uh, get rid of you. Let's have you guys head over and uh, blockade the boss for us. And then we'll have this heavy group up with them. Hopefully they don't get caught out. Safeguard army, the traditions. Very good. All right. Let's also make sure that our ships are upgraded. Very good. And as soon as we take Constantinople, they will not be able to cross the Bosphorus. So you guys are heading over there. These guys are heading on to Al Suez and they have no general. Sadly, that's Highlands. So they'll be out on the fourth. So this 40 stack is going to get attacked. We sunk. Oh, we captured the Ottoman flagship. Let's go. Let's go. So we have the, the Nip, Nip oh, Neapolitan. I think we in. Oh, that's the one that I literally just brought over, I believe. But, uh, yep, the Rashad I Hamis. I don't, Hamis? I don't know how to pronounce any of that stuff. But, yes, um, this might not be a win for us, actually. Ooh, definitely not. Look at all these men they got over here. Oh, just kidding. Wait, I took a minus one. 
Hold on a minute. How does that logic work? That don't make no sense. All right, let's flee up past Jerusalem so they can't get to us. Port Zone of Control. These uh, province, this province is blocking, so they'll have to walk all the way around. That is okay with me. So now we cross the Bosphorus and it's time to start sieging these guys down over here. Now, I don't want Alfred in charge. Uh, ideally, we'd have more um, more men in charge uh, with siege pips, but that's okay. These guys will head over and start sieging down Crimea while these guys start carpet sieging over here. Russia will take a minute to uh, get their men into position because they're still over here in Transoxiana. So that's fine. And uh, yes, it seems like this campaign has very much become a... Um, Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. They have so many men down here. Oh, it's probably because of the Ethiopia campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely why, actually. This is fine. Artillery cost. Nice. That'll save us some money. Uh, and since we're still here, we might as well continue boosting up manpower in our vassals' lands. I'm not doing Algeria because we plan to integrate them soon. Essentially, I just want my vassals to be as strong as humanly possible. Personal unions, you want them to be nice and strong because they can't really do much. Um... Oh my gosh, dude. They won't be super disloyal or anything like that. All right, let's head on over to Gaza. Wipe out that five stack. Always take your 10 to one, boys. These guys are over here with no general on a mountain fort. So I think that's the move. Nice, they're overstacked as well. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I, I swear I didn't see a general in there, but that's okay. They're, look at these losses. Oh my gosh, their losses are crazy. We've won the siege of Sugla. Azuga, Azuga, Azuga. Uh, so again, 40. If I were to give it to like Austria, it's 50. Castile is 30. Mamlux is 30. All right, so I guess I'm still giving forts to Austria then. You know, I really don't know. Um, I really don't know. Oh, it's probably because Austria has defensive ideas. Yeah, but they're not a march. That's really weird. They have discipline buffs as well. All right, so I think I'm going to start shattering here, though. So, um... They're going to take... Oh, my gosh. 14,000 loss, 15,000 loss to 40,000. So, even though we didn't um, handedly win that sit fat, that battle, that's fine with me. So, they actually could attack me here. Ooh, Edward the 5-3-2. He's okay. Generally, they say 10 points is uh, ideal. It looks like we lost our advisor, too. Well, that certainly wasn't helpful. Um... Now, ideally, we get somebody who's the correct culture over there. Um, this guy was a level five trade guy as well. That is unfortunate. We'll spend some money to upgrade them. Definitely want to have a good mill advisor, preferably a commandant. Um, morale or discipline? Let's take a look at where our discrepancies are with the Ottomans and see if we can... Um... So, let's go to war enemies. We have much better morale, much better morale, and better discipline. So, let's go with the commandant. And then we'll upgrade you as well. Play to our strengths. Oh my gosh, man. They have so many men. This is crazy. And a nice little lag spike there. They have good siege ability here as well. All right. Again, no general on that siege. So I'm going to head in. They're going to reinforce, but uh, I got them off of that siege here. And uh, they're going to be taking pretty heavy losses as well. Looks like they rolled pretty good there. Again... We just flee. They took extremely heavy losses. I lost some cannons, but uh, it's okay. So yeah, they're uh, they were. Hmm. They must be slacking their recruiting standards, I would assume. All right, give this to Austria. Give that to Austria. If you switch them between two, then they um, the AI will often give it back to you. It's just a weird little bug there. Uh, so <laughs> look at that twenty six thousand men on Crete or on uh, roads. My main intention is to take one province over here and release Georgia. They're going to be our fort slave. Uh, on second thought, maybe marching the MAMs was not the best idea, but it's okay. We have diplo ideas, so we're good. 
so these guys are going to slowly start marching across and um the mams are not really doing much they're up to forty-seven thousand men though i told you marching them and uh, all that stuff is definitely in our best interest so yeah we need to be careful here man reinforcing a bit we need to get over here and start um making our way down towards the levant getting our armies grouped up as quickly as possible i also forgot about these guys up here let's actually have you guys head up to this like loop lubni continue converting of course and uh we're just going to continue slowly advancing with this stack over here they have so many men here holy crap so if you don't know uh there is a defensive local defensiveness for seed trade companies so it's pretty good also helps with your um supply which is nice so like these forts have roughly the same defensiveness ai doesn't use uh edicts so They're probably going to actually take a fort, one or two. That's okay. I mean, we have all this and we don't even have ticking war scores, so we're good. And there we go. We are really cruising through these forts. Innovative offensive for the win. All right. In the great, in the words of the great Arumba. Battles don't win you wars, sieges do. Man. There we go. More money, please. Convert, please. So we're just kind of sitting here waiting on it. Uh, these nice little lag spikes are pretty infuriating. So we're going to wait on the monthly tick here. And uh, hopefully they will break off their siege on El Karak. So I'm waiting for the monthly tick there. There we go. We have our 6-4 general in charge there. There we go. Exactly my thoughts. They're going to reinforce. Um, and it's a win. And I'm also going to scorch this province. Yeah, that's a big old stack. We don't want them there. So let's head on over to Al Karak. Those guys are locked out. This 12 stack is locked in. Should be a quick wipe on that 12 stack. Very good. And uh, let's head back up here. We've taken this fort as well. And we're working on this one over here. These guys are kind of out on an island. So we need to be aware of that. Uh, but this is a very systematic siege down of the Mamluks. Or of the Ottomans, rather. And as far as returning cores goes, it's oftentimes easier to just click on them if you don't occupy them yourselves. So, like Sinai, he doesn't have a core on there for some reason. So I'll just take it from myself. And the rest will all be reconquested by him. Now, ideally, we can, like, completely kick them out of Northern Africa. Yep, and they have cores on all of this. Something like that. That's a beautiful peace deal. Uh, it's going to give the Mamluks a lot. It's also going to cut the Ottomans in half. Uh, it's 100%, but it's only 31 AE. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mosul. All right, and they are over here sieging this down again. I apologize. I'm having a hard time clearing my throat, so I keep on, you know, pausing here and there. So let's get these guys down to Cairo. This uh, this stack will group up over here, and uh, they should handle these guys pretty pretty easily. Oh, they got off. Easy enough, huh? So if that's the case, let's get these guys over there. They will not. They will get a repair tick. Ooh. All right, well, let's uh, continue the sieges. There you go. Those guys are at not 100% morale. Should be a wipe. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Yes, it was. Very good. The more wipes, the better. Let's take a look at their professionalism. They are down to 68%. So you can see that they've definitely been slackening their standards. This fort line in the Mamluks is really good uh, because this communicates over here. Essentially, they cannot get from here like through here unless they occupy sadly the way fort zone of control works um i'm pretty sure they can march around here but um actually no i don't think they can because this projects here and here this projects here and here so they they cannot go through there at least that, that's my understanding of it but i don't know whenever you have it from like one vassal to yourself 
to enemy territory that's occupied. It's a little funky, but we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, if you hear like these little pauses, it's just because I'm huffing up a lung. Didn't have my morning tea and it's crushing me. So a nice strong economy in my vassals is certainly appreciated. So operation buff the uh, buff the AI vassals well underway. So yeah, these guys are just absolutely getting clobbered over here again. Give the forts over to Austria, Austria. Let's have these guys split split and have them do something like this. Ottoman pretender rebels, huh? This is fine. Continue to siege them down. If we want 100% peace deal, it's going to be a little tough. So these guys have been occupied. I'm going to give their clay to Castile. As far as I know, that's their only two provinces. So that is a full annex. And then we take... Yep, Morocco is gone now. Very good. Tag eliminations. No, you don't want to do that one. You want to do that one. They are attacking. Just kidding. They are not. All right. Down here, sieging Cairo. I suppose we can do a little bit of carpet sieging over here in the Levant. No need to force march for you. Good sir. It is hard to click the right army there. There we go. Prussia is preparing to attack Poland. Where have I seen this before? Look at that. Do it, Mamluks. Uh-oh. Did their army get wiped? Yeah, they definitely did. Sadly. I guess that's to be expected when they're on the front lines there. All right. Let's get down here. They want to... Uh... Take a look at his economy now because he's still landing like 200 some thousand men. He's taken out one extra loan. <laughs> of course, that's the classic right there. So remember, oopsies, what the heck? Why'd you come over here? There is no cannons in these decks. So we just want them to start sieging down land that is not uh, already occupied or does not have forts to protect it. You guys can head on over to Cairo if you want to, I guess. All right, they're going to take Mosul back. Get these guys grouped up and hopefully yeah, they're probably gonna win that though. I want the burgers to be nice and loyal. If they don't win that 57%. Yeah. It's the AI. They pretty much always win a 57%. Confirmation bias engaged. Ooh, nice. A little bit of trade efficiency for our or trade power for our vessels. Alright. Gonna get these guys out of this area over here. Let's just take that back. Those siege ticks are crazy. I actually did definitely not need to do that. This is Highlands. So we'll give this back to Austria. All right. Long episode. I know I always do it. We're going to wrap this war up in the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying. Every time I go to war with the Ottomans, I have a long episode. So I guess that's kind of one of those things. Anytime you see it, you already know you can expect it. But hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure you share your support. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. we got more episodes coming out every single day. Check me out over at twitch.tv slash shoot and drop a follow over there. Support me on Patreon if you have it within your means and you would like to. And uh, join my cool Discord linked in the description below the video. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Shoot and I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlew, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Epp, J. Baller, Lon Damon, Draco Arhavis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, P. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, Dick Cutchell, and Winkler, R. J. Pylant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.